Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Body fat can destroy your testosterone levels and lower them up to 50%, sometimes even more. And what makes this extremely scary is the fact that the world as a whole is getting fatter and fatter every generation, every decade, every year, as you can see here, especially in developed nations. So not only fat crushes testosterone levels, but people are getting fat over time, which further adds to the generational decline in testosterone levels. It's one of the primary reasons, there are several other more, but it's one of the primary reasons why testosterone levels have been dropping like flies. And as you can see here, testosterone levels are plummeting with each passing generation, which actually makes you wonder what testosterone levels are gonna be like 10, 20 years from now if we don't stop this horrific trend. And we know that body fat and obesity play a huge role in that because if you remember my previous video on the biggest factors that increase testosterone levels with competition obviously being number one and towering above everything else. But anyway, we also know that fat loss, which is over here, can increase testosterone levels up to 200% based on the literature. I'm gonna make a separate video about that as well if you want. But yes, being fat, gaining excess body fat, crushes your testosterone levels and the reverse is also true losing fat and eating a healthy diet obviously in the process can lead to up to a 200 percent increase in testosterone levels so coming up i'm going to show you guys the study what the researchers were trying to find the scary findings i'm going to show you guys the reason why body fat destroys testosterone so much and i'm also going to show you guys how you could take advantage of this knowledge Right, it's not as simple as lose weight, lose body fat, right? You gotta do it carefully because if you do it wrong, you can also destroy your testosterone levels even further. But that's coming up later in the video. All right, so back to the study in question that wanted to look at the effects of body fat, excess body fat, obesity on the testosterone levels of young males. Keep in mind, these are young males, teenagers who are supposed to have the highest testosterone levels that they'll ever have in a lifetime, right? So this is insane. It's not like they're doing a study on a group of old people or whatever. These are young men who are supposed to be in the prime of their life. So the researchers separated them into two groups. You have the first group, which was the lean teenagers that had a healthy amounts of body fat. And then obviously you had the obese group. That was the obese teenagers that had excess amounts of body fat. And the researchers looked at several markers, which if you want, I could cover in more videos. This was a very, very well done study. They didn't just look at testosterone, they looked at many, many other hormones. But for the sake of this video, I'm only gonna focus on testosterone. And as you can imagine, the results were drastic. The difference in testosterone levels between the lean group and the fat group. As you can see, the fat group, even though they were teenagers, were pretty much hypogonadal, right? They had testosterone levels around 300 nanograms per deciliter, which is insanely low, especially for teenagers, right? Most healthy 80-year-old males have about 300 to 400 testosterone levels. I wouldn't really call them healthy old males, but that's the topic for a different video. But on average, most men around 80, 90 years old are around 300 to 400 nanograms per deciliter. Meanwhile, these teenagers, just from being overweight and obese, had the same testosterone levels as 80 to 90 year old males, right? And in fact, healthy 80 to 90 year old males can have around 500, 600, and in some cases, even 700 nanogram per deciliter testosterone levels. I'm gonna make a video about that as well, right? That is insane, guys. Meanwhile, the lean group had double the amount of testosterone levels, right? Around 600 nanogram per deciliter. That is a massive difference, guys. And the reason why body fat destroys testosterone levels, excess body fat, by the way, is simple. There's many mechanisms. Number one, it creates a ton, a ton of oxidative stress on your Leydig cells, which are obviously the cells in your testicles that produce testosterone. And remember, guys, oxidative stress is one of the leading causes of low testosterone. In fact, it's one of the top reasons why testosterone levels drop so fast, not only with age, but over time. We are getting bombarded by oxidative stress, which leads to number two. Having too much body fat leads to excess inflammation, right? Body fat releases a ton of inflammatory cytokines, which destroy your Leydig cells even more, your precious testicles, right? And it's a crazy feedback loop, right? Excess inflammation leads to excess oxidative stress. Excess oxidative stress leads to a ton of inflammation, which goes back and also increases the amount of oxidative stress. So it's a vicious cycle. The third thing that excess body fat does is it lowers blood flow to your testes. So even if your body wanted to repair your testicles and send nutrients and uh, vitamins and minerals down there, blood flow is impaired. So that's the third reason how obesity and body fat 
drastically lowers testosterone levels. You also have the fact that it increases insulin resistance, right? Being fat and obese leads to insulin resistance. So your body has a hard time absorbing glucose, absorbing amino acids, and that also leads to a host of other issues down the line. Impaired muscle growth, lower muscle protein synthesis as a result of training. I mean, insulin resistance is the beginning of hell for anything related to male health. Excess body fat also lowers luteinizing hormone and GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, which further reduces testosterone since obviously testosterone production starts at the brain. Your brain has to send a signal to your balls to produce testosterone. And as you should know by now, excess body fat contains the aromatase enzyme, which is notorious for destroying your testosterone levels even further. Why? Because aromatase converts your testosterone to estradiol, which is the most powerful estrogen. And estradiol goes up to your brain and tells your brain to stop making luteinizing hormones. So it's, again, it's a vicious cycle. So look at all the different ways, and there's more. I can make this video 30 minutes long and show you all the other ways that excess body fat destroys testosterone levels. But those are the key pathways. Now, what can you do to prevent this? 500, that's the magic number. Aim for a 500 caloric deficit every day if you're above 20% body fat, or again, depending on where you store body, right? Or again, depending on where you store your excess body fat, but try not to be more than 20% body fat. The sweet spot for men is between 10 to 20% body fat. Again, it, that depends on where you store your body fat. 15% is right there in the middle ground, right? Number one, eat a ton of protein, right? Try to aim for about one gram per pound of lean body weight. Make sure you're getting enough protein because that's gonna help with hunger, that's gonna reduce hunger, that's gonna help with muscle protein synthesis, that's gonna help you burn more calories since obviously protein has a higher thermic effect of food. It's gonna keep you full longer. And if you focus on nutrient-dense protein sources such as red meat, eggs, salmon, oysters, you're also gonna provide substrates to further increase your testosterone levels. And you're also gonna provide some antioxidants, right? Because again, your body needs amino acids to make glutathione and that's gonna help reduce the oxidative stress. Also, do some cardio. And I'm not talking about jogging or anything excess. Just walk, guys. Go for a walk. You'd be surprised at how many calories you burn if you just walk for 20 minutes to an hour a day, right? Obviously, the more you walk, the more calories you're going to burn. But get into the habit of going for a walk, right? I don't, even, I don't even like to call it cardio because it's something that every male should do for health. Also, obviously, lift weights, right? If you try to go on a caloric deficit without losing weight, you're going to lose a lot more muscle than fat. Meanwhile, if you go on a caloric deficit, again, try to keep it at no more than 500 per day. By lifting weights, not only are you going to preserve muscle mass, but depending on how good your training program is, you might even increase muscle mass, right? Again, depending on how obese you are, how untrained you are, if you're a beginner, advanced, blah, 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 right? But that's what you should aim for. If you're overweight, again, aim for a 500 caloric deficit a day on average. Eat nutrient-dense protein sources, not chicken breast. That's trash. I have a video coming up on that. But red meat, salmon eggs, lift weights, right? Follow a high frequency training program, ideally full body or upper lower push pull. Anything that has you train each muscle at least, at least two to three times a week. And again, get into the habit of walking, increasing blood flow. Now, here are some things that you should not do, right? Big warning. Number one, don't try to get too lean because being too lean also lowers testosterone production because if you don't have enough body fat your body's not going to make enough leptin and if you don't have enough leptin your body's going to reduce luteinizer hormone and gnrh which is, which is going to lead to lower testosterone levels so try not to get too lean a lot of your fitness influencers out there who are sub 10 percent body fat all the time on roids they're on trt or high dose steroids so don't try to copy them right try to stay between 10 to 20 percent body fat ideally around 15. number two don't try to go crazy and say, oh my God, I got to lose this body fat and try to do too much all at once, right? Don't try to do too much running, too much jogging, too much cardio, because that's also going to lower your testosterone levels because that's going to increase cortisol too much. Number three, don't try to restrict your calories too much, okay? Like I said earlier in the previous slide, 500 caloric deficit should be the sweet spot. As you go close to a thousand or more, you're going to lose too much muscle and it's not worth it because most of your body fat is burned by your muscle cells anyway. So the more muscle you lose, the harder it's going to be for you to keep cutting. And number four, that's one of the biggest mistakes people make when they try to cut is that lower their fat intake. Do not lower your fat intake. You need your monounsaturated fats. You need your saturated fats. Your body needs healthy fats in order to make testosterone as well as your omega-3 to, you know, to lower inflammation and things like that. But do not neglect your fats when you're cutting. All right, so quick recap. The researchers looked at two groups of teens, lean teens versus fat teens. The lean teens had significantly more testosterone levels than the fat teens, 100% more to be exact. 
And the reverse is obviously true. The fat teens had half of the testosterone levels as the lean teens, despite being in the prime of their life right after puberty when the testosterone level should be the highest. Excess body fat destroys testosterone. Now, if you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, boost the algorithm, like the video, help the video get as many likes as possible. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos, and join the Discord and the Reddit. We have a great community, full of advice, full of comedy. It's going to be a nice brotherhood helping you guys push through your goals for the rest of the new year. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.